Mr. Purdy here. Irony. Irony is about expectations. Remember, something is only ironic if what happens is the exact opposite of what we expect. There are three types of irony. Dramatic irony, situational irony, verbal irony. For dramatic irony, this occurs when a reader or the audience knows more about the events than the actual characters. Situational irony occurs when what actually happens is the exact opposite of what we expect. And verbal irony, of course, is when someone says something that they really don't mean. We interpret that as sarcasm most of the time. Situational irony. What is irony? Irony is about expectations. Something is only ironic if what happens is the exact opposite of what was expected. Remember, there are three types of irony. Verbal irony, dramatic irony, and situational irony. Understanding irony. For this slide, we're going to focus on an example of situational irony, studying for the test. As soon as Harim heard that the English test was going to be worth 30% of his grade, he began studying. He studied in class. He studied on the bus ride home. He even tried to study while walking home from the bus, but stopped after bumping into a lamppost. When he got home, he didn't watch any TV because he was studying so intensely. He completed the study guide that Mr. Purdy gave him, and then he completed one that he had made himself. Kareem refused to quit. He stayed awake all night finding and completing extra problems on the internet. By the time the sun rose, Kareem had mastered the content. As he entered the classroom, he felt prepared. He sharpened his pencil, sat at his desk, put his head down, fell asleep, and failed his test. This is situational irony. Harim believes that intensely studying would help him prepare for the test. But, in reality, the intensity of Harim's preparation resulted in his failure. We would expect that because Harim was prepared and studied, that he would pass the test. But, unfortunately, he did not. That means that there is a discrepancy between what we expect and what actually occurred. Now it's your turn. Apply the concepts used and complete the irony assignment.